Well, good evening. It's good to see everyone out. Before we begin our worship, we'll uh, just have a few announcements to make, but <clears throat> I guess the first one that's most appropriate, what a day we've had today. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a good week. Remember the uh, Marvin and Joanne as their families had some losses due to COVID at uh, Keep them in their, your prayers and our sympathies go out to them. Um, keep in mind also the sick that's listed, but certainly Marvin Clark, um, the Cruz family as they get better from their COVID, hopefully. Uh, Michelle Ipock as she gets better from surgery, hopefully. Um, Deborah's daughter, Maggie, keep her in your prayers <clears throat> and the whole list that's there. We have a few events to keep in mind. Uh, Highlandville Church of Christ kicked their gospel meeting off today, uh, Matt Jones, and uh, keep, uh, if you're able to attend, I'm sure that'll be worthwhile. <clears throat> Men's breakfast, October 19th, 8 a.m. at the uh, Fellowship Room. Uh, October 23rd, there will be a bonfire at Bob and Kay's house beginning at 4 p.m. Um, November 6th, woodcutting at Jim Cruz's, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, lunch provided. And I um, believe that should pretty well be it. Um, just an update today. Um, at the jail, we had 14 baptisms. So um, it was a good day. Um, certainly, God has blessed us with opportunity. And uh, not only in this ministry, but um, the opportunities of the last week to go into the community and we've seen some benefit from that for his glory that there are souls that are looking for the truth and that's the most important thing um, so as we have opportunity let's continue it's uh, like I said it's a long day but it's a good day and it's been a good week and uh, it's just good to be a Christian Certainly from that standpoint, uh, if there's any other announcements, get them to me. We'll make sure to announce them. And uh, let's begin our uh, worship with a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we're so thankful, Father, for the beauty of the day, the first day of the week and the opportunity that we've had to worship you. And as we come before you now at this time, Father, we pray that as we sing praises to you and study from your word and as we... Um, offer you worship we pray father that it's in spirit and truth and it's glorifying to you and all that we do father to be called your children to have the privilege that it is to work in your vineyard and to do the work that we're given to do the urgency that we have to do it father we are so thankful that we can and that father that you bless us we are are so thankful that you do and we implore and we beg that you continue to bless us and guide us in the work that we do. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening. Hope everybody had a great day. It was a beautiful day. It's been a great week. I'm not the closer. I'm the middle relief so we just keep it going okay redeem <clears throat> we're gonna 514 for those at home we're seeing all three verses of 514 <clears throat> redeemed how i love to proclaim it redeemed by the blood of the lamb redeemed through his infinite mercy his child and forever i am redeemed 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 by the blood of the lamb redeemed redeemed his child and forever i am redeemed and so happy in jesus no language my rapture can tell i know that the light of his presence with me doth continually dwell. 
redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb, redeem, redeem, his child and forever I am. I know I shall see in his beauty the King in whose law I delight, who lovingly guardeth my footstep and giveth me songs in the night. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem, redeem, his child and forever. Number 535 be our song before our opening prayer. Five thirty-five. We're going to sing all three verses. <clears throat> I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. I'm in the glory land way. Jesus saved today, yes, I'm in the glory land way, I'm in the glory land way, I'm in the glory land way, heaven is near and the way groweth clearer for I'm in the glory land way. List to the call, the gospel call today. Get in the glory land way. Wonders come home, oh, hasten to obey, for I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is near and the way groweth clear for I'm in the glory land way. Onward I go read Rejoicing in his love, I'm in the glory land way. Soon I shall see him in that home above. Oh, I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. clear for I'm in the glory land way. We're so thankful, Father, for your love. Thankful for your word. Thankful for the power of your word. For you know in the gospel it is the power. We're so thankful, Father, for for the opportunities you give us to serve, and we pray we'll never, never decline somebody an opportunity to serve. But we also thank you, Father, for, for the time when we can come together as your children and with pride and with joy call you Father. And we pray, Father, that we won't just be content. We won't just seek for opportunities to continue. We pray that you'd help us, Father, to truly commit. Commit to be your family. We know, Father, that when we, were obey, when we obeyed the gospel to Jesus, we know, Father, that we made a commitment to Jesus. And we pray, Father, that you would help us to live up to that commitment. 
Thankful for each one that's here this evening. Thankful for the baptisms today. We pray, Father, that each one of us will do all that we can to encourage these new brothers and sisters and strengthen them. And help us, Father, to always put you first in our life and bring, bring the light where others can see the light growing and shining within us. Thankful for Rick and for his, his lessons and for his study and for his, his enthusiasm and for his commitment. For he and Kathy are truly a blessing to this congregation. And now, Father, we're so thankful for the time we can come together at this time. May our songs truly praise you. May our fellowship together truly honor you and uplift each other. And may our love always be that which the world can see that we're truly your disciples because of our love one for another. Be with us now and may our, may our services this evening truly be, be beneficial for us, but most of all, be honoring to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You want to mark number 945 at home. That's the song of encouragement. We're going to sing before Rick's lesson 470. 470. Victory in Jesus. <clears throat> We're going to sing all, all the verses. <clears throat> I heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He Plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing. How he made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then I cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit. I then obeyed his blessed command and gained the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He bought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the street of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me 
with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Well, tonight we are excited to be here. I hope you are. It's been a wonderful day. Hearing about the number of baptisms that have taken place is a wonderful event uh, just to hear th that and we want you to pray for all those folks that we can have follow through and by the way I want to introduce you to our preacher tonight this is Nacho Brom and uh, we're putting him in the spot I'm going to get to hide behind the pulpit he is not Nacho would you like a stand or would you are you probably you need that for your notebook don't you can yeah. I get a couple volunteers to set this up here on the pulpit for Nacho, he's going to need that because we're going to work together tonight. And I, I need to know, how many of you understand Spanish tonight? Because we need somebody to check the preacher. Yeah, do that, please. I'm going, to, I'm going to preach, and if I preach something that's not out of the scriptures and not true, you make sure I know it. But we need to check him. So who, who reads and understands Thank you. Spanish? Well, we got a couple right there. Someone said, don't you understand Spanish? I said, not very well. The only thing I really know about Spanish is when I read it at Taco Bell. But what we're going to do tonight is to do a test somewhat of what it would take to record lessons that will be utilized in South and Central America, particularly Colombia. They are eager to, because Americans haven't been able to travel there, we've been limited, as you know, the last two, what, been two, two years. Two years. Nacho was going every year, but the last two years, no one's going. And so we're looking at utilizing technology because of the fact they know Nacho and Fernando, which Nacho has worked with there, uh, he's eager to be able to have some lessons from Nacho. And so we are looking at, um, with the preacher at Lebanon as well, producing uh, some lessons that will be done similar to this so that they can go to Columbia. So we're going to try it tonight, and this will be somewhat of a challenge for me because it's difficult to speak with an interpreter because you can't just rattle. Well, that's probably not the best word. You can't just go at 100 miles an hour preaching because he has to interpret. So tonight we're going to have the lesson in such a way as I will present and he will interpret. But if you can and read the Spanish, go ahead and do that. For example, uh, Nacho, let's get a little bit of an idea here how it's going to work. Well, let me tell you this. Yes. Uh, I think some people up here, uh, one time one preacher coming over here, we do they just five minutes. But I know everybody don't, don't watch this before. But I want to tell you also, guys, that Fernando is one of the preachers that you support in Medellin, Colombia. He is very, very... Uh, dedicated to the religion, to the faith. And believe me, your support is not in vain. It's in very Amen. good hands. Thank you. Amen. And that, that is, we take for granted how easy it is for us to communicate, but it's not so necessarily Amen. throughout the world. And so we appreciate what Nacho is doing and the work he's been doing. In fact, you're going to be gone, is it next week? to do some interpreting for next, the Spanish congregation? Next Saturday, I got invited to go to Sedalia, Missouri. I don't remember the name of the congregation for Church of Christ in Sedalia. Then you know the, and uh, Margo, they know the congregation. They had a lectureship over there next Saturday. Everybody's invited. But uh, Steve Haley invited me to translate the sermon for him, which got to be 9 a.m. Because their congregation has some Spanish-speaking people, they don't speak much English, like me. Uh, but uh, I'm going to turn it for them. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do tonight is I have slides in Spanish, and Nacho has a print of those, but my job is going to be to speak the English, let him interpret it. So we're going to move back and forth 
between the slides, and hopefully this will work out. But what we want to do is ask you to take your Bibles and turn to Acts 18. Les vamos a pedir que abran sus Biblias en Actos 18. Hechos 18. And tonight we're going to be looking at encounter with a religious teacher. Esta noche vamos a ver el encuentro con un maestro religioso. This is an interesting encounter because we have a man that seems to be on target. Este encuentro es muy interesante porque nos encontramos con un maestro parece ser que él, él cree que está en, en el punto importante. Él, es, él sabe todo. But he's going to come up short. Pero no conoce todo. Verse 24. Verso 24. Now a certain Jew, and, uh, el judío, named Apollos, que se llamaba Apollo, born at Alexandria. Nació en Alejandría. So here we have a Jew, aquí tenemos a un hombre judío, who, who was born in Africa, que fue nacido, but he's preaching. Pero es predicador. And he's found by Priscilla and Aquila. Uh, Priscilla and Aquila lo encontraron. In the synagogue. En la sinagoga. And they hear him preach. Ellos lo, escuch ellos lo escucharon predicar. And this is going to become an encounter. Esto va a dar una cuenta. That we can learn from. De que podemos aprender por esto. And here in this slide you will see the verse in Spanish. En esos slides van a ver uh, uh, versos de, en español. And you'll notice under a teacher in the Spanish, there's that word, and you can say it, Nacho, the second word. Dice, vean que en la palabra van a incluir la segunda palabra. And you can see that they would refer to, in, in Spanish, a teacher who uh, is identified, and sí. he is an identity, excuse me, go ahead, Nacho. Pueden ver que se están identificando a una persona, al maestro, and maestro is the word describing this teacher. El maestro es la palabra describiendo este, a este predicador. And what is important? Y lo que es muy importante. We have a man who is very eloquent. Es, tenemos ahí un hombre que es muy elocuente. And a teacher mighty in the scriptures. Hay un maestro que conoce las escrituras. And as you look at this man, y como ustedes pueden ver a este hombre, he is zealous for the Lord. Excuse me. He is zealous for the Lord. Él es muy celoso para el Señor. This man is zealous because este hombre es celoso porque he had been instructed in the way of the Lord. Él ha sido instruido en el, en el camino de las palabras del Señor. Notice in the passage, it does not say that he was instructed in the way of Jesus. So it does not say he was instructed in the way of Jesus. Vean que en este pasaje no está diciendo que fue instruido en, los, en la manera de Jesús. He was instructed in the way of the Lord. Él fue instruido en la manera del Señor. And being fervent in spirit, y yo en espíritu, he spoke and taught accurately. Eh, habló y enseñó a, a, a Correctamente. And notice it doesn't say y no, noten que él no dice, the things of Jesus, but the things of the Lord. No dice las cosas de Jesús, dice las cosas de Dios. But here is the challenge. Pero aquí está el reto. Because this teacher, porque este maestro, only knew únicamente of the baptism of John. Sabía del bautismo de, de Juan. That we often call John the Baptist. Todo el tiempo le llamamos Juan el Bautista. We read in Matthew 3. Y podemos leer en Mateo 3. Verses 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. 1 and 3, perdón. That, that John the Baptist. Que Juan el Bautista. Came preaching in the wilderness. Vino predicando en el... Uh, Selva of Judea, de Judea. And what he said, y cuando él dijo, in that wilderness, en esa parte, to people who would come out to hear him, que gente que venía a escucharlo a él, John the Baptist, Juan was, el Bautista, would say, repent, él dijo, arrepiéntanse, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, porque el reino de los cielos está a la mano. 
So the kingdom of heaven being at hand was what his message contained. Porque el, el reino de los cielos está en la mano. El mensaje esto que era lo que contiene. So this teacher, este maestro, known as Apollos, de nombre Apollo, knew that the, that the kingdom was at hand. Sabía que el reino estaba en la mano. But he still had things to learn. Pero tiene más cosas que necesita aprender. And speaking of John the Baptist, hablando acerca de Juan el Bautista, Isaiah the prophet, Isaías el profeta, said the voice, dijo la voz, of one crying in the wilderness, y aquel que está llorando en, en la selva, prepare the way of the Lord, está preparando el camino para Dios. John's message, el mensaje de Juan, was a message of preparation, era un mensaje de preparación. Saying that there would come a Messiah. Está diciendo que va a venir un Mesías. And John was the preparer. Juan lo está preparando. To get folks ready for the Messiah. Para preparar a la gente para el Mesías. And then John would baptize. Then Juan está baptizando. Thus the name John the Baptist. Por esto es el nombre de Juan el Bautista. Or John the Baptizer. O Juan el Bautizador. Matthew 3, verse 11. Mateo 3, versos 11. We learn about a this baptism. Aprendemos acerca de este bautismo. That it was a baptism unto repentance. Que era un bautismo para el arrepentimiento. Therefore, when we look at the teacher Apollos, por eso cuando vemos al maestro Apollo, who only knew the baptism of John, que conocía únicamente acerca del bautismo de Juan. We reach conclusions about his teaching. Hacemos la conclusión de sus enseñanzas. Number one. Número uno. He did not teach. Él no enseñó. That the Messiah had come. Que el Mesías había venido. And completed his work on the cross. Y completó su trabajo en la cruz. Number two. Número dos. He didn't teach the kingdom had come. Él no dijo, él no enseñó que el reino ya había venido. And was established. El que estaba establecido. He didn't teach. Él no les enseñó. Baptism into Christ. El bautismo en tu Jesucristo. For remission of sins. Por el perdón de los pecados. I invite you to turn to. Yo los invito a que abran sus Biblias en. Chapter 19, verses 3 through 5. Capítulo 19, 3 al 5. And the question is asked, y la pregunta se hace, of those who knew only John's baptism, para aquellos que conocían únicamente a Juan el Bautista, into what then were you baptized? Por eso, por qué es lo que estaba baptizando? And they said, y ellos dijeron, into John's baptism, into el bautismo de Juan. Then verse 4 is very critical to understand. El verso 4 es, es muy importante de entender. Then Paul said, Pablo dijo, John indeed baptized Juan está baptizando with a baptism of repentance con el bautismo de, uh, de arrepentimiento saying to the people alguna gente that they should believe on him que, debía, que, que necesitaba creer en él who would come after him que venía después de él and that is on Jesus Christ, or on Christ Jesus. Esto es en Jesucristo. Therefore, we know Apollos did not teach baptism into Christ. Por eso sabemos que Apollos no estaba enseñando el bautismo en Jesucristo. Apollos did not teach. Apollo no enseñó that baptism into Christ was essential. Que el bautismo de Cristo era esencial. In order to be added to the church. Para ser agregados en la iglesia. Furthermore, he didn't teach tampoco enseñó the baptism of the Holy Spirit, el bautismo del Espíritu Santo, nor the gifts or given, the, or what? nor the gifts or the regalos of the Holy Spirit, del Espíritu Santo. And he did not teach y no enseñó the gift el of, regalo the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, del Espíritu Santo. He also did not teach the Old Testament law Tampoco él enseñó la, la ley del Viejo Testamento. Was nailed to the cross. Fue clavado en la cruz. 
Furthermore, he didn't teach Tampoco le enseñó that the new covenant que el nuevo pacto was now in force. Era estar enforzado. Because John was under the old law. Porque Juan estaba bajo la vieja ley, el viejo testamento. And as John pointed people to the Messiah, they were still bound by the Old Testament law. Cuando Juan estuvo hablando del Mesías, estaba hablando del viejo testamento, de la vieja ley. Also, we know, también sabemos, Paulus didn't teach Christian worship. Apollo no enseñó la, la adoración cristiana. The importance of the first day of the week. O lo importante del primer día de la semana. Nor did John teach. Juan tampoco enseñó. Nor Apollos. O Apollos. The essential of worship. Lo, lo esencial de la adoración. Worship with the Lord's Supper. Adoración con el, el, uh, la cena del Señor. Also, Apollos, uh, tampoco Apollos, did not teach, no enseñó, the next time, que la próxima vez, Christ would come, que Jesucristo venga, that it would be the end, va a ser el final. And furthermore, y más adelante, he did not teach, él no enseñó, the complete truth, la verdad completa, of Christ Jesus, de Jesucristo. And he didn't know, él no sabía, he was an erring teacher. Que era un, un error no enseñarlo. Why was he an erring teacher? Porque era un error ahí al no enseñarlo. Because this teacher failed, porque este maestro falló, este profesor falló, to teach all the truth. Enseñar toda la verdad. What made the difference? Que fue lo que hizo la diferencia? Time. Tiempo and what occurred in time. En lo que estaba ocurriendo en el tiempo. Prior to Christ, antes de Jesucristo, and the death, y de la muerte, the burial, la sepultura, the resurrection, la resurrección, what Apollos would have been teaching, que era lo que Apollos estaba enseñando, would have been true. Era la verdad. But when Christ went to the cross, pero cuando Jesucristo fue a la cruz, Apollos, Apollo, was teaching incomplete truth. Estaba enseñando una verdad incompleta. And what Apollos taught, y lo que Pablo, Apollos enseñó, could not provide salvation. Él no podía proveer salvación. And so he is the man who began to speak. Él es el hombre que una vez más está hablando. Boldly in the synagogue. En la sinagoga. And there, y ahí, encountered, se encontró, Priscilla and Aquila. And, Aquila. and they are going to be two people. Y ellas, ellas fueron las dos personas. That's going to make a great change. Que van a hacer un cambio muy grande, muy importante. In the life of Apollos. En la vida, <laughs> en la vida de Apollo, I'm sorry. And not only Apollos. Y no únicamente Apollo. But all that would later hear him preach. Pero todos aquellos que lo escucharon predicar más tarde. What did they do for Apollos? ¿Qué fue lo que hicieron por Apollos? They gave him what was missing. Le enseñaron, le dijeron que era lo que él estaba perdiendo. Scripture, scripture says, la, la Biblia nos dice, that they, they took him, que lo tomaron, apart, apart lo separaron, and explain to him y le a él, the way of God la forma de Dios, more accurately. Mar, más segura, más correcta. This tells us Esto nos dice a nosotros, that when a man preaches, que cuando un hombre predique, he must preach the truth necesita predicar la verdad, accurately. Correctamente. To fail to preach the truth accurately Cuando fallan a predicar la verdad correctamente, can have disastrous results. Puede tener resultados muy desastrosos. Here's the question I ask tonight. Aquí, es, aquí está la pregunta que yo hago esta noche. What if? ¿Qué pasa? Apollos, si Apollo refused 
to hear, se niega a escuchar, Aquila and Priscilla. Aquila y Priscilla. Where would that have put Apollos? Donde está poniendo Apollo? What label would he now be wearing? Que que el nombre estaría usando ahora. And then think, y piensen, of the harm, el, el, lo que va a ser, el daño que va a ser. Apollos would have done lo que Apollo estaba haciendo if he had only continued si continuara él to preach the baptism of John. Predicando el baptismo de Juan. Could he have started a whole new religion? Él podría empezar una religión nueva. Could Apollos had a huge number of followers a lo mejor puede tener un número muy grande de seguidores who were not following the truth. Que no estaban siguiendo la verdad. And the answer is what? Y la, la contestación cuál es? Absolutely. Absolutamente. He was an eloquent speaker. Era un uh, predicador muy eloquente. He was teaching what he taught. Él estaba predicando lo que le enseñaron. Accurately. Uh, uh, correctamente. However, de cualquier manera, it was not the truth. No era la verdad. Why? ¿Por qué? Because Christ Porque Jesucristo went to the cross fue a la cruz and changed the covenant. Y cambió el pacto. The, gave us the plan. Nos dio el plan for man's salvation. Para la salvación del hombre. And Apollos was not teaching. Y Apollo no estaba enseñando the plan of salvation. El plan de salvación. They took him aside. Ellos lo tomaron a un lado to make sure para estar seguras that he learned the truth. Que él aprendiera o aprendió la verdad. And we're thankful that they did. Estamos muy agradecidos por esto que ellos lo hicieron. But when Christ came, the cuando la cruz, cuando Jesucristo fue crucificado, the teaching of Apollos, en lo que Apollo enseñó, a baptism of repentance, el baptismo de arrepentimiento, fell short, era corto, of salvation, de la salvación. Compare that to the teaching of the apostles. Comparen esto con la enseñanza de los apóstoles. They taught baptism into Christ. Ellos enseñaron el baptismo en Jesucristo. For remission of sins. Por el perdón de los pecados. The apostles, los apóstoles, provided the way, prepararon el camino for salvation, para la salvación. Apollos, Apollo, would not have. Que él no tenía esto. In 1 John, chapter 4, Primero de Juan 4, verse 6, 6, Scripture reads, la escritura lee, we were of God, somos de Dios, or actually it's we are of God, correct my English, we are of God, corrigiendo la palabra somos de Dios, he who knows God, y aquel que conoce a Dios, hears us, nos escucha. He who is not of God, aquel que no es de Dios, does not hear us. No nos escucha. By this we know, por esto sabemos, the spirit of truth, la verdad, and the spirit of error. Y el error. We have the nosotros, writings, nosotros tenemos las escrituras, of the apostles, de los apóstoles. We have the truth. Tenemos la verdad. To preach anything less than what the apostles predicar menos de lo que los apóstoles están predicando is to preach error. Es predicar el error. If Apollos, si Apollo, refused to listen, se niega a escuchar, he would have to be labeled a tenía false que, teacher. Tenía que tener el nombre de un maestro falso. His label El, el nombre de él would be a false teacher. Era un falso maestro. He was coming short. Él estaba siendo corto of the complete truth. De la verdad completa. But fortunately, pero afortunadamente, thankfully, gracias a Dios, he listened. Él escuchó to Priscilla 
and Aquila. Uh, Priscilla and Aquila. Aquila. But that brings us to today. Pero estamos en este día. We must accept. Necesitamos aceptar. As much as it breaks our heart. Lo más difícil lo que nos quiebre nuestro corazón. The reality. La realidad. That false teachers. Que las falsas enseñanzas. Exist today. Existen en este día. If a teacher. Si un maestro predicador. Teaches faith only. Enseña que la fe únicamente. We ask the question. Hacemos la pregunta. Is that teacher. Este maestro. Falling short. Está siendo corto. Of salvation. De la salvación. If a teacher. Si teaches. Un si un maestro enseña. Baptism. Bautismo. Is not essential. No es esencial. To salvation. Para la salvación. Is that false teaching? Esto es una enseñanza falsa. Is that teaching falling short? Si este maestro está siendo corto. According to Acts 2. Acuerdo de Hechos. Verse 38. Versos 38. That teacher is falling short. Este maestro está siendo corto. Acts 22, 16. Hechos 22, 16. Paul is told. Pablo estaba enseñando. Arise. Levántense. Be baptized Baptícense. and wash your sins away. Y laven sus pecados. If anyone teaches, si alguien más enseña, it is not essential que no es esencial to have your sins washed away. Que tengan sus pecados lavados. That teacher, este maestro, has a label. Excuse me. That teacher wears, or teacher has a label, a false teacher. Él tiene un nombre de maestro falso. Example, if a teacher says, Por ejemplo, el maestro dice, Once saved, always saved. Cuando el guía dice, El que está salvo, de todas maneras es salvo. When we look at the scriptures, Cuando vemos las escrituras, Is that the truth? Es la verdad? Think about teachers, Piensen acerca de maestros, who do not regard que no se acuerdan the exhortation in the teaching in la invitación de la enseñanza not to add to or take away no agregarle o quitarle someone may argue but they're sincere algunos parecen y argumentan que son sinceros someone may say but that's all they know algunos dicen que es lo único que ellos es todo lo que ellos conocen therefore because they're sincere, porque ellos son sinceros, and it's all they know, es todo lo que ellos saben, no problem. No hay problema. But there is a big problem. Pero si hay un problema muy grande. They fall short of salvation. Están enseñando corto de la salvación. People do not hear. La gente no escucha. What is essential or important? Que es lo esencial o lo importante to their own salvation. Para su propia salvación. And how do we deal with false teachers? Y cómo podemos ver un maestro falso? Their mouths must be stopped. Sus bocas deben ser tapadas. The New American Standard says a first. New American Standard says. La nueva Biblia americana dice. In Titus 1. Que es en Tito 1. Verse 11, versos 11, they must be silenced. Deben de ser sil silenciados. Mouths must be stopped is the new king change. Deben dejar de hablar. If their mouths are not stopped, si las bocas de ellos no las paran, no se callan, false teachers, los maestros falsos, will lead people away from salvation. Van a estar llevando a gente, retirándolos de la salvación. In Titus 1, in Tito 1, verse 13, 13, Paul tells Titus, Pablo le dice a Tito, rebuke them, llámales la atención, and he says sharply, uh, rapidamente. The New American Standard says, otra Biblia dice, reprimand them severely, reprimandelos severamente. 
This shows, esto nos enseña, how serious, que tan serio es, it is, y si es muy serio, when someone fails, cuando alguien falla, to teach the truth. A enseñar la verdad. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3. First what, I'm sorry. In 1 Timothy 1, verse 3. Primera Timoteo 1, 3. Paul says, Pablo dice, to charge them. Que se les cargue. But not with a credit card. No en la tarjeta de crédito. Charge them that they teach. Carguenlos con lo que están enseñando. No other doctrine. No otra doctrina diferente. And we know in Galatians, y sabemos que en Galatas, chapter 1, capítulo 1, verses 6 through 9, versos 6 al 9, there's a curse, hay una maldición, upon anyone, a cualquiera, that does not teach, que no enseña, the doctrine of the New Testament. La doctrina del Nuevo Testamento. Jesus even himself, Jesucristo mismo dice, warned us, nos advierte, beware, que seamos of false que, teachers, que tengamos cuidado con los falsos maestros, and false prophets, y falsos profetas. Why? ¿Por qué? They fall short, porque están quedando cortos, of salvation, de la salvación. In Romans chapter 16, Romanos 16, verse 17, verso 17, the Apostle Paul says to the Romans, el Apostle Pablo le dice a los Romanos, in reference, en referencia, to those who teach, para aquellos que enseñan, those things, lo que están diciendo, doctrines, baptismo, teachings, Enseñanzas. Contrary, contrario, to the doctrine of the apostles. De la doctrina de los apóstoles. And then he says, y también nos dice, avoid them. Déjenlos. So in other words, these false teachers, en otras palabras, estos falsos enseñantes, enseña, maestros, must be identified. Deben ser identificados. They must be noted. Deben ser que se noten. They must be marked. Deben ser marcados. Because they are a danger. Porque es un peligro. To the truth. Para la verdad. And they will fall short. Ellos están quedando cortos. Of teaching. De enseñar. The plan. El plan. Of salvation. De salvación. We read. Nosotros leemos. In the New Testament. En el Nuevo Testamento. Therefore. Por esto, it is serious es muy serio. when somebody Cuando alguien falls short estás quedando corto as a teacher como maestro to teach de enseñar the truth la verdad that sets us free. Que nos libera. That's why tonight Por eso es que esta noche, we want each and every one of you Invitamos a cada uno de ustedes to carefully consider cuidadosamente consideren the truth la verdad of the plan of salvation. Del plan de salvación. Could John's baptism provide el, remission of sins? Si el bautismo de Juan está prohibiendo la salvación de, de pecados? Under the new covenant. Under del nuevo pacto? No. No. Could John's baptism, el baptismo de Juan, provide access to the church? Nos está prohibiendo uh, entrar en la iglesia. The kingdom of Christ, el reino de Dios. It had to be the teachings. Tiene que ser la enseñanza of the apostles, de los apóstoles. And what did they preach? Y qué es lo que ellos predican? The death, muerte, the burial, es el entierro. The resurrection, la resurrección of Christ, de Jesucristo, and that's our only hope. Es nuestra esperanza. So tonight, if you're here, por eso si esta noche están aquí, you've not yet obeyed the gospel, y no han obedecido el evangelio. Nacho, Nacho, and myself, 
y yo mismo, en Bachi, los invitamos to obey the gospel. A que obedezcan el evangelio. The water's ready. Que ya el agua está lista. And Nacho, y Nacho has the strength tengo la fuerza to make sure you go under. <laughs> Estás seguro que van abajo del agua. So why not tonight? ¿Por qué no esta noche? Think about it as we stand and sing. Would you come? Piensen acerca de esto cuando paramos y cantamos. No, good job, Jeremy. Is there anyone who hasn't partaken of the Lord's Supper today? Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we ask thee to bless the bread that represents our son's body upon the cross. We ask thee that these will take it in a way that is pleasing in your sight. We ask this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Again, Heavenly Father, we ask thee to bless this fruit of the vine, which represents the blood of your son, Jesus, that he shed upon the cross for our sins. Let these people take it in a way that is pleasing in your sight. In your son's name, amen. Is there anyone that'd like to give an offering? Heavenly Father, we ask thee that the finances that are giving tonight will go for your work to spread your gospel throughout the world and throughout this city. We ask thee to bless those that are giving from their hearts. In Christ's name, amen. closing song will be number 589. We'll sing the first and last verses. Those who are willing and able to please stand for the song and remain standing for the prayer. <clears throat> 589. 
What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarm. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have to fear, leaning on the everlasting arm. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arm. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. We bow me. Our most gracious Father in heaven, we. Thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful day, Father, you've given us. As we come together here, Father, to study, study another portion of your word, Father. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you for the great meal we had today, Father. We thank you for those many blessings you bestow upon us every day, Father. And pray, Father, that you would be with all our number that are sick, Father, and that couldn't be here today, be with them, and the doctors ministering to them, Father, that they could get the help that they once had, Father. And Pray that you would be with our number that have lost loved ones. Comfort them, Father, as only you can. And pray that you would be with all our number that are traveling, Father. See them safely to their destination, Father. Especially Brother Harib, Father. We pray that you would give him a long life of service in his preaching, Father. Pray, Father, that you would go with us through the rest of this week, Father. God, guard and direct us and see us back at the next point in time. And as we pray. In your son's most holy name, amen.